seeing all these like beds and bodies, you know, laying around. She put them in like the oven. I was like, what are you doing? My name is Kim Williams. I am a mom of four children. I am a nurse by trade and also I am a reborn artist. This baby is Bryson. Baby's name is Bryson. I make reborn dolls uh, by using a vinyl kit that we purchase and I paint them and I bring them to life. Reborns are a full baby, anatomically correct. You could purchase a doll at a store, but it's not going to look lifelike. So they really move and look like a real baby. There are thousands upon thousands of reborn customers and artists and, and companies on social media all over the place. It's, it's pretty big. That I've seen actually sell, I would say six, $7,000. There are people that need them to replace a loss. There are people that need them to help with pain. I had a couple and she bought one for her wife. She had cancer and she was on hospice. The doll was with her when she had passed. I was a practicing nurse until I became ill with an autoimmune disease. Leaving nursing was difficult. Um, I loved being a nurse. I graduated in the top of my class, which I was very proud because I was a single mom at the time. My body was failing. I started with psoriatic arthritis and it just got to the point that I couldn't do and be the nurse that I needed to be physically. And I remember seeing these dolls and I said, how could these people make these? And just something lit up inside of me when I, I saw them and I said, I think I can do this. I started watching videos and reading tutorials. I can remember selling that first doll. It was extra money and I was so proud of myself. And now I have a company called the Pied Piper Nursery. My son decided that he wanted to come up here. So his room is over here. Does he love that I'm working on these? Probably not. <laughs> so when I was younger, I kind of thought it was like a creepy thing. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to it now. I try to work on three at a time. Every week I spend at least 35 to 40 hours in here. The goal as a reborn artist is to make them as lifelike as possible. If you can accomplish that, then that's really where I think the niche and the market is for them. So when the kit comes in, the kit comes with the head and the limbs. I wash the kit and then I do a neutralizing wash. So the next step is the blue layer. I do all of the veining, the bluing of the feet and the hands, and then there's modeling. So it starts to give capillaries and vessels. Then there's tons of flesh tones. It could be a hundred layers on a baby. It's baking in a convection oven. It sounds terrible. So the baby gets fingered nails, and then the baby has hair, rooted hair. This is what I use to put the hair to the babies. So this takes hours upon hours, days upon days. So if I took my son to football practice, I could, you know, set up in my car and I have done this and root a baby, give the baby hair. And then we will assemble, we'll weight the head, we'll weight the body. This is um, glass beads and the weight of them gives the weight to the baby. And then we have the limbs in here that we have to weight. My niece helps me with, that's her job. She puts the magnets on the pacifiers. And then like this feels like, how much weight is this, do you think? Um, I don't know what each one, when they're done, they're about five to six pounds, so. I started helping her out when I was like 15. Yeah. It was a big help for me, so. Yeah, because yeah. you were going through like infusions and things like yeah. that, so it would be harder for her to do it for like a week. By the time you get the body and the kit and shipping, you're easily spending $100. And then the cost of the paints, oven, glue, the mohair, paint thinner, the magnets, the pacifiers, the clothing. Every baby goes home with a hospital bracelet. Taxes taken out, you have fees. Average base doll, not including my time and work. I mean, it could easily be $160, $175. So anything that I make, it helps out for my son's school. He's in a private school. Annually, if I did this full time, I theoretically could I could make forty, forty-five thousand dollars on the side. So I would say anywhere from low end would be two twenty-five 
I would say around median is maybe five, five hundred dollars, five fifty, six, six twenty-five in that vicinity. All the clothes and the diapers and everything like that, they're all real. Um, it's kind of crazy. They kind of bring all the lights over and then photography becomes a whole big thing. She'll get a bottle, she'll get all different little treats. Yeah, normally um, they all get like a pacifier. Socks, blanket, and then off she goes. We're going to the post office to mail this baby. Garbage can. <laughs> My dolls go all over the world, which is incredible. Hello. That's a doll. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's. I that was an actual baby. No. Yeah. Well, you know, because you have two babies. Three months old. Looks a lot like. Well, my babies have patients, and I'm not, so not mine, but. <laughs> yeah. Reborns.com is actually a great um, site to list on. You let them know what the head material is, the limbs, the age. So it's mini, preemie, newborn, older baby, toddler. Now the arms that I explained earlier could be full length, three quarter length. Whether or not there's a certificate of authenticity with it, if it's awake or asleep, some babies have open eyes. So here's the skin tone. They are dark, peaches and cream, strawberries, other complexions. There are so many babies. I mean, there's an incredible kit that was just made um, and it's a Down syndrome baby. And there's a lot of babies that are sculpted, that cleft palate baby, you know, and I think it's fantastic. I've done some of the fantasy babies, which I only do them for a special customer in California. How you doing? Good, how are you? I call her my number one fan. Um, she would just write to me throughout the years, just send me a doll kit. And every time she sent me a doll kit, she'd send me a, a present. She really has been my driving customer throughout the years. She just went through a terrible time with the wildfires. Scared to death they were going to burn out. It was the one thing I was really worried about during the fire. I was going to lose my babies. Oh, that means the world to me. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this one. This in, in the spirit of Halloween. Only Can for her would I have done that. <laughs> there he is. There he is. And his hoof. There's his little. <laughs> I said only for you, Kim. <laughs> yep. Yep. But I have this new one that I've been talking to you about, and I'm hoping you'll paint this one for me. Here. Oh, I will. Let me see this. Is her little there alien face. There <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm not into, like, the fantasy green and purple dolls. No. So I'll I want Kim to paint it just like a real baby, real human skin tones and everything. And everything. Just, like, just like a human baby, only it's going to be an alien. This is the one that started everything. Let me see. Oh. There she is. There's the first. Oh my gosh. I got from her. How many of my dolls have you purchased so far? It's a lot. <laughs> I think it's been maybe 15. At least, yes. I'm not like a serious collector. I just like babies and I can't have babies anymore. And these are the next best things. And these are crazy times. And these babies, they give they give a little comfort. And they're, you know what? It's nice to look at a cute baby, you know, when when all this other stuff's going on in the world. When you have a child and you give birth, you know, these children are, you're taking care of them, you're coddling them, you're nurturing them, you care for them. It gives you a purpose. Then these children grow up and they do their own thing. So these reborn dolls are fulfilling that nurturing element, even though it's an inanimate object, I am still in in my eyes bringing it to life for someone else. Whatever need it, it is for them, whether it's collecting or Alzheimer's and dementia, the nurturing part of me is expressed through the artwork in the doll. <laughs>